G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know us, this is Caitlin, and I'm Matt, and we are the Roaming Pickles. We've both taken 12 months off work to travel, and currently we're in Europe. In the last episode, you saw us hike up Mount Dobrica in Slovenia, and in this video, we check out some more of the Slovenian countryside, and we also try our luck at some snowboarding. So come along guys, and we hope you enjoy. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Good day, everyone. Morning. Today we left our accommodation in Vadić. That's how we're saying it anyway. And we're heading towards our next accommodation right on the border of Slovenia and Austria and Italy. Yeah, it's, right up in the corner of Slovenia. Um, it's only about an hour or so away near Kranska Gora or, yeah, or Ratić. Ratić or Ratići or however you say it. But yeah, it's only about an hour and we got a bit of time to kill and we just driving around found this um, castle just nestled up on a hill here. Yeah, so we did a bit of a search and it looks like it's free entry and open at any point. So the Carmen Castle was built in the 12th century. This is really good for cost of nothing yeah it's, there's quite a bit on offer and the stairs and the tracks going bridge. everywhere as usual no one else is here yeah yeah <laughs> i just like standing here and you can just see all the old parts of the structure up against the mountain it's a beautiful place to build pretty cool how they've just sort of built the room just sort of into the natural rock Another level. Here, Matt, have a go at climbing up this ladder. But that's where the view is up there. Yeah, I know. Well, that was a nice little find. Yeah. But I guess we'll um, keep moving. I can move into that house. I'll take it, yeah. <laughs> well, we made it to Ratis, Ratich, however you say it. <laughs> and um, as we're driving, there was a big ski field in Krankskagora. So we have to go and get some groceries, but on our way, we thought we'd just stop in and suss out the prices and whatnot. To uh, go skiing. Yeah, potentially go skiing Possibly. tomorrow. We've got a spare day, but we have we would need to buy the ski pass and rent ski equipment. So. Yep. We'll just find out prices Yeah, that's first. what we're figuring out now. And, and how pretty is it driving through all this snow? No, it's it's been little, really good. These little villages in the snow, it's amazing. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> we're keen. <laughs> we're going uh, snowboarding today. Yeah, I was going to say skiing, but no, no we are doing snowboarding, aren't we? Go, aren't Hopefully. We? It's a bit of an unplanned thing, but yeah. once we saw it there, we couldn't pass up the opportunity. No, definitely not. But no, keen to watch definitely you fall keen. over for <laughs> oh, half a day. Surely. I've never snowboarded before. <laughs> I've skied a handful of times, but not very well, and yep. never snowboarded, so don't have very high expectations. Yeah, yeah. You have, though. Once, but it was a bit. Oh, over 10 years ago now. Back in your youth. Yeah, <laughs> and I wasn't real, real good then either, so. Oh well, let's hit the road. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We've just got 
We just went to the little two dollar shop and bought well not two dollars. It was a six six euro six fifty shop. Six euro fifty for a pair of gloves each. But we're good now. I'm wearing it out so it can help warm me up. Get out of my way. So I just picked up our equipment uh, for half a day, so four hours. The equipment hire cost us uh, 52 euro. It was 15 euro per board, uh, nine euro per boots, per set of boots, and three euro per helmet. Woohoo, let's go. Ready to go. Shackers. <laughs> our ski pass, we were expecting 38 euro each, each, but it turned out to be 20 euro each for all day, whereas we yeah. thought it was 38 euro for four hours. But we only hired our boards for four hours. <laughs> But like, we may be done by then anyway. I look weird hard. with this helmet on. Alright. Shall we go? Let's go. Oh yeah, we don't really know where we're going. And we don't know how to... <laughs> how to snowboard. We don't know how to get, how you meant to get on the lift with the snowboard. Do you just take it fully off or... I can't see anyone else here with snowboards so we can't even just sneakily copy off of them. See how we go. She's got no idea what she's doing. That was easy. I'm exhausted just putting my boot on. You only got one in. We're, I'm pretty sure you got to yeah slide like that. That's it. And we got to go over. We got to go over to these lifts. Let's go. We're, we're running out of time, and we're on a budget. Oh, you, must... you must just read it. Oh, we didn't stack it on the lift. That was hard. <laughs> wow. Okay. Look. Have a go at the scenery. We are so bad at this. We're going to be so good. <laughs> so good! <laughs> How do we get off? Um, that's the hard bit. So I don't think this is a very popular... Ski place. Ski resort, or not at the moment anyway. There's only, I think, three or four slopes open. Um, but, you know, that's more than good enough for us. We're... Look at him going backwards. We're absolute amateurs. This place going backwards, watching his daughter. He's pretty good. The um, equipment rental people were like, oh, we really suggest you hire a snowboard instructor just for the first hour. <laughs> we're pretty good at We this. don't have a budget for that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and we decided to go up the biggest hill purely because it had a chairlift and not a T-bar. Yeah, I don't know how to use a T-bar yet on a snowboard. So, so here we go. <laughs> so hopefully we haven't made a terrible mistake coming up the big hill first. But either way, I, yeah, I don't think many slopes are open at this time of the year, which is mid-December. Um, Can I just add, all I've ever done is wakeboarded once or twice behind a boat and surf behind a boat once or twice as well. So, so pretty... I have not got much experience in this domain. Yeah. Watch this space. I thought this was meant to be an easy track. It's clearly very steep from up here. Look at the town behind us. They're going pretty quick, those skiers. Is there anyone behind us? Ah, damn it. Nailed it. How do you even take it off on me? After strapping on my boots and standing up, momentum pushed me towards the slope. Gravity then propelled me face first down the hill, completely against my control, and too quickly for Matt to get on camera. I managed to fall on my bum and slid for about 100 metres before coming to a stop, being showered in snow the whole time. I genuinely thought I was going to die. <laughs> you couldn't have gone more straight down the I went straight and I was like, ah! I could hear you. Could you actually? I didn't have it on camera. But... So then I just tried to turn because I was like, if I go straight down at 100k an hour, I won't be able to stop at the bottom. I thought you were going to hit that machine. Matt then gave me a quick lesson in snowboarding. Only about two minutes too late. I think I'm just going to do this. No, just stand up. You'll be right. As long as you keep your board horizontal. Yep, you got the balance point there. That's it. Did you actually hit it? Yeah. <laughs> and then you just went out of sight. <laughs> I had to commit because I started sliding and I couldn't stop. Yeah, yeah. We're not very good at this. <laughs> Where do you go? 
I nearly hit you. I nearly just got taken out. That was the scariest thing in my life. You're so good. I saw you do a big donut. Yeah. That's her up there on the ground, obviously. Here she comes. Oh, she's killing it. Look at her go. Don't go too fast. Here, let's go to the other slope. Well, we've established that I can't snowboard to save my life. And I actually nearly died up there probably, felt like it. So I'm gonna get my breath back for a round while Matt goes up the T-bar and John and Lorraine have a go as well. But there's kids here, what if I hit one of them? Just don't. Yeah, that's it. Made it onto the T-bar. Caitlin's up ahead. Alright, let's go. Here she comes, she's just had a big stack. Not happy. I turned around. Yeah, you did, you spun around. I managed to go backwards, but then it just made the fall even harder, and I felt it in my neck. Oh, really? I just need to sit for a minute. What a great day. Sun's out. Uh, the slopes are more than steep enough for us, that's for sure. Um, oh, we stopped. Uh, I think Mum's called it quits. It's a bit hard on her feet, which is fair enough. Um, Caitlin's just did some, I think a jumper or something she's wearing. But our uh, dad's finally having his first proper ski and we're about two hours in. <laughs> Another go, let's go. That's all right. That's it, go right across the slope. Nailed it. That's it, keep on your toes now. Remember, straighten up, neutralize. Oh. Definitely should have brought my head strap to mount the GoPro because it's very hard to record and swing your arms around in the right way at the same time. But you live in your own. More straight. That's it. Seven stacks. I finally did a whole run down the hill without stacking it. And now it's time to hand back my gear. Although in all honesty, I don't think I could do another minute. My legs are that sore. Matt's doing one more run on his own. And then I think we've got to call it a day, hand our stuff back and have a big feed, I reckon. Can you see him? Because I can't. Here he comes. He does pretty well, old Matt. Got to give it to him. Look at him go, he's showing off for the camera. He better not take me out. <laughs> he's going to take me out. <laughs> oh, what a legend. How good am I? I'll give it to you, you're not bad, that's for sure. So good. <laughs> How was that? Yeah, good, that was the last run. We've run out of time. Well, but um, hopefully that's not the end of it. I'm hoping Austria's got something as well to offer. We'll, I'm uh, sure it will. We'll yeah. go hand back our stuff and have something to eat. Yeah. Works up a bit of a, a hunger, doesn't it? Yeah. A drink of water would be good yeah, too. Yeah, that wouldn't go astray. A bit of sunscreen next time might help too. Yeah. Didn't think there was going to be any sun today because it thought it was going to be behind the mountains. Now my eyes are all burnt. <laughs> that was so good. Anyway, that was awesome. Let's go and hand the gear back. Oh, that's the best feeling in history. Taking those shoes off. I never want to put a shoe on again. How good is it to just walk normally? Ah, <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, but you nailed it. I was pretty happy with my effort in the end. I um, took a while to get there, but for a first time snowboarder, I'm, I'm, a, I'm proud of myself. Are you proud of me? Very proud. All right, I'm gonna go get some food. We'll come and sit up with John and Lorraine. They're gonna buy lunch, but yep. I really need some food and water and a nap would be good. <laughs> so for 92 euros or 46 euros each, we got to ski for snowboard <laughs> for four hours, which is enough for me personally. Yeah. But I just also wanted to point out that we are on a budget, quite a strict budget, because we are traveling long term. And we weren't sure if this is something that would be really affordable or not. But there's so many ways that you could just save a little bit. Like we didn't hire our clothing, we just wore our own clothing. Um, we didn't hire a locker box, which I think was nine euros I heard to put our shoes in. Instead, we just walked them back 200 meters to the car. And then we've just brought our own lunch and snacks afterwards to sit outside and just enjoy that instead of spending, you know, 20, 30 euro on food. So mm. it's definitely a bit of a stretch of our budget, but we'll make it work. And it, there's still, it could have been a lot more. Yeah, if it we could have been probably double easily, quite yeah. easily on what we paid. So you can always make it happen. Think of Improvise, the, yeah. adapt, overcome. <laughs> All right, we've had a feed. We're all sore, <laughs> tired. Time for a hot shower. Yeah, we're gonna head home and um, yeah, have a shower. Except have a John's rest. pointed out we've got about a two-minute water allocation each before the hot water runs out. Yeah, the out, hot water so. system's not real big, is it? <laughs> Shotgun first. <laughs> well, while we're out driving around, we're just um, gonna drive down through this valley to where they do. Is it fly skiing? I don't know, ski jumping. Ski jumping. <laughs> Um, and along the way, look at this, there's a, a lake or a river or probably a lake, I guess. It's all frozen and there's people out playing ice hockey on it. Practicing anyway, they're not it's playing so a game. It's so cool. I just, it's really hard to comprehend that there's places in the world like this where people literally just go down to their local lake and go play some ice hockey and it's just normal and it's just stunning. <laughs> Be careful. It's probably fine. <laughs> See the dog out there? Yeah. And there's big woolly cows over here. The big ones that have the big massive horns and really long fur. I just can't believe people live here. This is just the normal for some people. This is insane. <laughs> hey buddy. I need a haircut. Hello. Looks like a cow over here. <laughs> I don't want to try to pat it. Those horns <laughs> are too big. Yeah. Look at the texture of this snow. It's like... It's like sharp. This is just like incomprehensible how beautiful <laughs> it is and how crazy well, yeah, these is. people are we've continued up that valley we're heading towards and it's come to the fly ski jumping championship spot i don't, I don't know if they're just i'm guessing they're just practicing, practicing i'd say but, but it looks like the bit where they have all the another one going. that is incredibly high it takes a good the like half a sweat. second for the sound to reach us once they slap the ground. Will you want to have a go, Matt? Do I, do I want to have a go? Yeah. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> there's the chairlift going up. So there's like a little grandstand, I guess, near where they land. I can't believe that people are brave enough to do this. Here, look, ready? One's coming now. Are they actually crazy or what? I'm scared for these people. Imagine if you stacked it. Well, you don't need to buy ice around here. Just. I oh, just. Oh, you're so strong. I'm so strong. I keep telling you that. All right, now we're going to go home. <laughs> we've ate. 
So to pull into the car park to get a bit closer and watch, it was 350 euro, but I think that was well worth it. Yeah, yeah, I've never witnessed anything like that in no. my life before, so. And just look how beautiful yeah, it is yeah. around us. It's... The length they're jumping, they're jumping like 90 meters. I don't even know if that's good or not, but it is in my eyes. <laughs> Gold medal from me. Anyway. It, let's go home. <laughs> Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. Don't you know that 